Hello, the practitioner here. Um, I took a look at your video, and uh, I find it interesting. I also read the comments. Um, to skeptics there who just simply said, lol, fake, 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 um, that's really not necessarily just the most appropriate response. Just by saying fake, it doesn't necessarily mean how it's faked or what actually was there. Now, uh, in my case, I took a look at that video, and um, yeah, from the fright and stuff like that, it did seem fairly realistic that you guys were frightened by something. But that's the thing. I took a look at that thing, both under low quality and high quality, twice on age, and um, I, like I said, full screen, just to actually get an idea of, uh, of what it was. But the thing is that the problem is, is that we, yes, we do hear a bang, and yes, we do so see something run across the screen. Uh, more specifically, we see the light reflect off something that appears to be about human height. Um, but that literally could be anything. It could be a person. Uh, you know, it could be a, it could be a homeless person who accidentally ran, uh, you know, who was just running very fast across there and tripped over something and caused a bang. Um, it could have been an animal, a group of animals. Um, you know, depending on where you live, for all we know, it could have been a bear. <laughs> I mean, like you know, the point is is that the um, the foot, you know, the thing is that um, granted, you were frightened by something, and granted, there probably is something hanging around there. And if I were you. Um, you know, again, if this is, um, again, if, assuming this is a real video, um, if there was, uh, you know, if that is what I think it is, um, you know, there probably is some actual homeless person or something like that living in there and making a whole, a, a whole bunch of weird sounds, uh, right near where you live. And if I were you, uh, just to be safe, I would call the police in to investigate the area after having shown them the footage and just simply say, we don't know whether it's a ghost or not, uh, or what it is. Just go down there and check to see if some homeless person is... <laughs> You know, I mean, heck, you know, if the homeless person is causing you guys life a living hell, get the person evicted. Um, but other than that, I mean, um, but as for whether, as for that being a ghost, um, I think that there's not enough evidence to really say, uh, you know, I'd, like I said, I think that just, uh, that just because something big uh, moved across the area and caused a big bang, um, I think that's, uh, you know, it's one thing to say it's unknown, and it could be a hobo, but you can't find animals, it could be a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Could be hobo was up for the day. So the thing is, you know, like it's it, okay. Well, that's just my postulate, but you get the idea. The point is that it's it's far cry from one thing to say, okay, we have no evidence it's animals and we don't know what it is, to it being automatically a ghost. Um, you know, even with the uh, even with the best ghost footage I've seen out there. Um, again, note that I said the best. Uh, a lot of it's been faked and a lot of it's even vague. But the thing is that even with it, we always have uh, stuff like orbs. We have uh, 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 we have well apparent orbs. We have apparent. Uh, uh, you know, we have apparent um, beings or, or luminous people that are actually walking in the area, that are interacting. I mean, something just running by and causing a loud bang um, is pale in comparison to even most of the best faked videos. So, if I were you, I'd call the police on the area and have them come inspect the area just to be safe. I'd also have a magician come in uh, just to make sure that the, um, just to come in and check the area as well. Um, you never know. It could be that somebody's uh, somebody's pulling a uh, pulling your guy's leg, trying to get you to get out of the area. And it would be kind of nice to get whoever the fucking. <laughs> it would be kind of nice to get the homeless person or the bear or whatever it is there out of the area, because, you, uh, you know, again, if it is actually something large making uh, making weird sounds that's constantly coming into the area, it could be dangerous. But that being said, uh, I don't think there's enough evidence for it being a ghost. Um, that's just my take on it, though. Um, but I still recommend calling the police nonetheless just to actually find out what really it is there. Um, toodles in the meantime, and um, not a bad attempt out of it. I'll give you that much.